Hello, and welcome to Matt's House of Horror. So today, this video is not a vlog, it's not an episode of any of my series, but it's a message. It is a message to every viewer. So as I am, like, living in this world, I have noticed that humanity has been divided into three categories. One of the one is totally bad, which is made up of murderers, criminals, racists, you know, everyone, everything that is bad. Then the second category is kind of bad, kind of good, where it's made up of bullies who start off by doing something bad, but then they make amends by, like, finding people who they bullied and, like, again, make amends with them and become friends with them and, well, and then they become friends. Then there is the completely innocent, totally good side, which is made up of anyone, everyone who are in, who is innocent, did nothing wrong in their lives, and they just want to live their lives. Yeah, they may fight with each other, but then they get over it and they move on. They keep loving each other. They keep, like, they don't harm each other. So, let's get right to the point. First of all, this video is not going to be edited, so, yeah. It's going to be raw footage. But anyway, the point of this video is big name YouTubers, mostly PewDiePie, are being targeted by, like, media like Wall Street Journal as being racists and neo-Nazis, even though they did nothing wrong. So, PewDiePie, we all know... If you've watched him, he's we all know he's kind of funny, especially if you are subscribed to him. And we know that a lot of times he'll make jokes that are really extreme. But he, that's his way of sarcasm. It's not like he really means them. It's not like he's saying like it in such a serious tone that anyone would believe he actually means the, the jokes he says. There are even a lot of videos where he says that he doesn't even like using those jokes anymore and he tries not to, to use that type of comedy because it he feels that it will offend a lot of people so right now media outlets like Wall Street Journal are calling him racist and are saying that he must be a neo-nazi because a lot of the, again a lot of, in a lot of the videos he jokes around like pretending like he was a Nazi. All right. I just feel that the media is now just like targeting him. Right now, these media outlets, they're in the totally bad category. And I don't even think they even know it. Because I don't know if they know how much pain they're putting these YouTubers through. They're making, I mean, I just think it's probably one of the dumber things because a lot of people I believe are actually believing this, believing the crap these media outlets are saying. I think that's pretty dumb and it's pretty wrong. Anyway, for so right now I want to ask, what does respect mean? Because right now, it seems that now the definition and the entire use of respect has changed a lot. Now there is kind of less respect. Like, humans are equal. I'm sorry to say, but you are equal. No one's better than anyone else. You're not, there is no one, there's no human who is better than another human. So, in a way, it's like now because of this humanity is like losing respect for one another and like they're being racist to one another they're hating one another one another I should say and media outlets like this are feeding off that now to those media outlets do you think like I'm not gonna say like you might you might not have a family, so you're going to feed off this, this hatred and negativity because 
you think it makes you feel good. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say this. Do you think your wife or your fu- or your children or your grandchildren are going to love you and respect you still if they know that you target an innocent YouTuber who did nothing wrong, completely did nothing wrong, and you targeted them and called them utter garbage, trash, and no one should like them? Do you think they're going to still love you? No. No, that's not how it works. It's a possibility your wife might divorce you. Then your children might think of you as the garbage. Yeah, this might sound like I'm being mean to them, but, you know, it seems like they're just asking for somebody to be mean to them. Because I just despise filth who target innocent people and just think like, oh... I can call this person a racist, or I can, I can call this person a neo-Nazi and get away with it. I despise filth like that, who are like that. Yeah, you know, you probably could, but it doesn't really sound like you are, because YouTubers are cashing on quickly. See, you see, YouTubers are just like any other human. They try to live their lives, they try to... They try to increase the chances of a better, awesome future. It's not, they're not like this big, big people who think they're above everyone. No, it's not the truth. And yet there are still YouTubers who do like, do these really awful things. Sure, but it's like, go after those people. Why do not those people get the attention like this? Why are you going after these innocent innocent YouTubers who did nothing wrong? It's like PewDiePie said this in a video in one of his videos saying that it seems that the media kind of fears YouTubers who are making it big on YouTube. Media fears. That's why a lot of them are the targets for for these articles. I think that's low wrong. I don't think that's wrong. I don't think we should have media outlets who are like this, who just judge people by, like, they don't even know the person. They just judge them by a video they made or something like that. Even if it's just one video, I don't think that's right. That is pretty wrong. And. No. I ho- again, I hope that most of these media outlets don't don't actually imagine that they're going to get like some sort of following or something like that because they're not. No. You're going to lose a lot of respect and a lot of people are going to start hating you. All right? So I'm not here to me- mostly bring around hate. I am here to say that maybe these media outlets should stop doing stuff like this. Should stop being like all grabbing an innocent YouTube video and all of a sudden calling the person who made it a neo Nazi or a racist. Um I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's right. So but yeah. I also hope that you don't think you're not going to get your fair due someday, as I... What I mean by that? I mean, you're... You're like karma. I hope you don't think that's going to happen to you. Because it will. So... That's mostly the entire point of this video. Was... Like... Just to tell... I really just wanted to talk about this problem that's going on right now. Mm-hmm. I expect YouTube drama channels to do this, but never a media outlet like Wall Street Journal to actually think of this. All right, well, uh, that's it for today. Please like this video. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in this next time in the shadows. Goodbye.